I had uh, I had this fear that oh maybe it wouldn't be that good if they got two towards maturity because it can be dangerous. But uh, and I think many had this idea, but still they got it, and I, I wasn't surprised. To be frank, in Hungary, um, the the largest criminal actor in Hungary is the government itself, not the mafia, not the private uh, organized uh, criminal uh, groups, uh, but the government itself. The problem is, um, you know, privatization under pressure, and especially privatization under time pressure and financial pressure. Um, there was a, a non-sensitive approach to to the lower classes. I think Orbán's um, Orbán is not really serving uh, the nation. He, it's a narrative that he uses very successfully and he, had, he can do that partly because others were, were not able to do it very successfully. This is tribalism, um, which is rather post-truth phenomenon in the sense that you really want uh, to be, uh, win elections on the base of your tribe. After Mr. Orban has done what he has done, uh, in, without exception, in all countries of Europe, it is the extreme right that is at the core of the political dy dynamics. They might be in power, as they are in most countries, sometimes, you know, disguised. A central notion of social demagogy in Hungarian election campaigns is to campaign and actually practically buy up the votes of pensioners.